Wonder Woman. 1984 is an ambitious sequel that brings Diana Prince, Gal Gadot, into the 1980s, a colorful era of excess and change. The film attempts to blend nostalgia, moral lessons, and comic book fantasy, but its execution is a mixed bag. One of the key elements is its connection to dark magic, specifically the Dreamstone, a mystical artifact created by the god of lies and treachery, which grants wishes but with devastating consequences. This darker influence can be tied to the broader DC universe, hinting at the manipulations of powerful cosmic forces like Darkseid, whose influence on reality-shaping power brings a shadow over the seemingly bright setting of the film. The return of Steve Trevor, Chris Pine, is central to the film's emotional arc, as Diana makes a wish for his return. While his presence offers moments of nostalgia and heartwarming chemistry, the way it's handled feels forced, as Steve inhabits another man's body, raising moral questions. His return through the power of the Dreamstone demonstrates the film's central theme. Be careful what you wish for. Diana's emotional struggle between holding on to Steve and her duty to do the right thing drives much of her character's conflict, but the wish mechanism feels more like a convenient plot device than a well-earned moment. Meanwhile, Barbara Minerva's Kristen Wiig transformation into Cheetah, triggered by her wish to be more like Diana, provides some of the film's more thrilling moments. As she gains powers, she loses her humanity, becoming a dangerous foe. Her arc shows the corrupting nature of unchecked desires and the price of ambition. However, her character development feels rushed, especially in the final act, where her motivations become more shallow and villainous, diluting the depth that could have been explored more fully. Pedro Pascal's portrayal of Maxwell Lord, a desperate businessman turned megalomaniac after obtaining the Dreamstone, brings an over-the-top energy to the film. His character's arc of wishing for more power at the expense of the world's stability is an embodiment of the film's warning about unchecked greed and desire. Lord's descent into madness as the stone corrupts him is well acted, but his motivations feel one-dimensional, and the chaotic third act struggles to land an emotional punch. Despite having some genuinely good moments, like the scene where Diana learns to fly and the nostalgic chemistry between her and Steve. Wonder Woman, 1984, stumbles with pacing issues and tonal inconsistencies. The climactic battle between Diana and Barbara Cheetah is visually impressive but lacks emotional weight, and the showdown with Lord feels anticlimactic. One of the film's main flaws is its reliance on CGI and spectacle over coherent storytelling. The moral lessons about truth and consequences are admirable, but the film often becomes bogged down in excess, and the magical elements stretch believability even for a superhero film. While Wonder Woman 1984 does succeed in exploring Diana's internal conflict and the darker side of wishing for things without consequence, it doesn't resonate as deeply as the first film. It also didn't perform well at the box office, partly due to its release amid the COVID-19 pandemic, but also because the story wasn't as tight or compelling as its predecessor. In conclusion, Wonder Woman 1984 offers fun moments, an intriguing use of dark magic, and a nostalgic romance, but it struggles with its overstuffed plot and inconsistent tone. While not a box office success, it still provides moments of heroism and heart, even if it doesn't quite live up to its potential.